If we look at networking today, for the most people, it's still about, I go and buy a box, I put it in my data center, I configure it, and now I've got some networking services. That clearly doesn't map to the world where applications could be deployed on a public cloud or using some new tooling or infrastructure that's maybe not part of your traditional data center. So we need to be thinking about networking more as a set of capabilities that can be deployed wherever the applications run on whatever infrastructure, whatever kind of uh, development environments being used. So it's really a much more software oriented approach to networking where we can start thinking about little pieces of software that implement networking functions that get deployed wherever they need to go to both connect and secure the applications. So there's a combination of things that have to change. There's a set of technologies that have to change, and then there's a set of people and process and culture issues that need to change. So if we just think about the technology side, technology is moving forward with new approaches to networking where, for example, you can go into a network virtualization system, specify what you want the network to look like, and then get those networking capabilities deployed wherever you need them. So the technology in large part is, is there, or at least it's developing. The people in process turns out to be kind of the long pole that now you've got a situation where the traditional IT world is one where they think about networking in a certain way. Networking is a silo that's isolated from other parts of, of the IT organization. And people are just not thinking about how do I manage this complex world where a large part of the functionality is outside of my own data center. And so getting people to think about not just I configure the part of the network that I control, but rather I deliver services to the applications that make the business successful. That's a really big cultural shift. And so I think what we're seeing is the organizations that are really successful in this sort of new, new universe are getting there by actually pushing a change of attitude and a change of culture through their organization.